Pirate's World was a 100-acre pirate-themed amusement park in Dania, Florida that opened April 8, 1967. Developed by Recreation Corporation of America, it was located on the north side of Sheridan Street between US-1 and A1A. History Pirate's World was successful in its early years, but in 1971 Walt Disney World opened in Florida, which took much business away from the theme park. By 1973 it was in bankruptcy and finally closed its doors in 1975. Norman Kaufman, a venturing carnival rides owner back in Coney Island, bought some of the steeplechase's fiberglass horses and eventually gave one of them to the Coney Island, USA museum more than 20 years later. The fate of the others is unknown. In 1978, a biblical theme park was to have been developed on the site, but that fell through. The land was sold, zoned residential and condominiums were built over the last traces of the park. Topic. Attractions The park featured the Crow's Nest observation tower, which had originally been the Belgian Aerial Tower at the 1964-65 New York World's Fair. This structure was bought second-hand after the fair and transported to the site, where it was re-erected. It consisted of a central post from which was suspended four metal cages by cables, designed to carry several standing passengers. To balance the structure, two cages would be in the air while two were being loaded on the ground and the cages would be raised and lowered simultaneously. Another feature was the pirate ship ride, an actual life-sized pirate ship. The ship, piloted by park personnel, cruised along a river, through a barrage of cannon fire and enemy pirates shooting at the ship, while the pirates that were aboard the ship were firing back at them, protecting their passengers from harm. There were amusement park games owned and run by Cindy and Joe Dickman along with the Petting Zoo and Seal Pond. Members of the Miami Dolphins played the football toss. There was also a shooting gallery. The games at Pirate's World were a high striker, tip the cats, tic-tac-toe, ring toss, football toss, can-can and a watergun game. The petting zoo had an elephant in 1972 there were deer instead as the elephant had grown too large for the enclosure and a seal pond where one could feed fish to the seals. Also at Pirate's World was the Grand National Steeplechase, which was originally from Coney Island, along with a wild mouse roller coaster, a log flume, also bought secondhand from the New York World Fair, various carnival flat rides including a paratrooper, a sky ride, some carny games, a ski ball arcade, and spiral slides. Topic rock music concerts In the late 1960s and early 1970s, Pirate's World was the venue for several rock music concerts, playing host to such artists as Jeff Beck Group 1969, Led Zeppelin 1969, Iron Butterfly 1970, The Faces 1970, 1971, The Grateful Dead 1970, Traffic 1970, Black Sabbath 1971, Blood, Sweat, and Tears 1971, Deep Purple and the Partridge Family 1971, Jethro Tull 1971, Grand Funk Railroad 1971, Steve Miller Band 1971, The Guess Who 1971, The Moody Blues 1971, Emerson, Lake and Palmer 1971, Three Dog Night 1971, Manassas 1972, David Bowie 1972, The Doors 1972, Wishbone Ash 1973, Santana 1973, Alice Cooper 1973, The Beach Boys 1973, and Steely Dan 1974. 
The Johnny Winter album Live Johnny Winter and 1971 was a live album partly recorded at Pirate's World in fall 1970. It was not uncommon for crowd control problems to break out at some of these concerts. In March 1971, police clashed with concert goers at a Grand Funk Railroad concert. Eleven people were arrested and two policemen were injured. Topic. Films Over the years, several film and television programs were also filmed on the site, including Jack and the Beanstalk 1970, Thumbelina 1970, Musical Mutiny 1970, and Santa and the Ice Cream Bunny 1972. 